YouTube, hello friends and people in virtual world, welcome back to Baggies TMD. Don't forget to hit subscribe and smash that like button if you're enjoying the channel. Right, something a little bit different today. We are doing a paint review. Now, for the uh, past couple of years since I started redoing models again, I went from Humbrol over to Vallejo Air, which has been my staple paint for the past couple of years now. Model Air. Go straight in the airbrush and uh, brushes down quite nice. Uh, at last year's Scale Model World, I brought um, a load of Hataka paints because Hataka paints appear to do a quite a nice variety in different uh, paint configurations for the RAF that I do. So we have uh, Modern Royal Air Force colours. Uh, version 1, we have Volume 2, we also have a British Helicopter colour set, there's also a uh, Modern Royal Air Force Volume 2, I think I'm, uh, still I'm not, there's uh, another one as well but I don't appear to have that one, down up here with me, uh, we have the Modern Royal Air Force set Volume 5, so 4, one, there's what we're one missing. We're mi missing volume three, which I believe downstairs. But they do a heap of different colours, all for modern RAF colours, which Vallejo don't. So we went over to Hataka to try them out. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on my experiences using Hataka paint. Now, if anyone has used Vallejo before, you know, the model air is straight out of the bottle, straight in your airbrush, about 20 psi, sprays on nice over a primer. My primer I use is bog standard Halfords car primer, which has worked well for me for years. So it goes on. Problem with Vallejo air is it seems a little bit soft and a little bit delicate. It can easily get uh, scratched, pulled off with masking tape. It's very... It's not a very durable paint. All right, once you've got a varnish over, but it's, uh, like I say, it's a very soft paint. It can damage easy. The Hataka paint, it seems a lot hardier paint. It doesn't seem to scratch so easily. I will say with the Hataka paint, so you do need to use a thinner, whereas the Model Air, you don't. You do need a thinner, even with the red capped paints which are specifically designed for uh, an airbrush uh, talking to uh, a few different modelers uh, moss who we've done a bit of co-op booth before suggested uh, thinning it down to a 70 30 ratio show so 70 percent paint 30 percent thinner uh, i'm just using um, ak interactive thinner because it's what thinner i've got and it seemed to work all right so we was using that thinner and it seems to be working quite well it comes out quite nice and smooth it's a little bit grainy but i can deal with that yeah nice coverage about 20 psi out of the airbrush it comes out quite nice nice uh nice thin layers can be achieved very nicely i did put a little bit of too much on yesterday but thankfully it dried okay so so far i'm finding the attacker paints with the thinner are a very nice paint like i say a little bit more hardy than what you get out the uh vallejo uh but like i say i thought i'd just give you a little bit of an update on what we're doing on the, uh, what we're doing here at baggies we're trying out this attacker paint like i say i'm finding it quite nice now we've got this uh, nice ratio i mean my airbrush setup is a cheapo compressor with a uh, Clarky um pressure regulator on it and i've got a premier airbrush that i got three out three out of the model railway magazine probably 10 years ago still doing me good to change the needle and the nozzle in it every so often so so far i am very happy with attacker paints uh when i finish doing the jaguar which we're painting up at the moment i'll show you uh the jaguar paint it seems a very nice uh match to RAF colours, the uh, colour I'm using is actually an American Air Force one because 
the Jags got painted in that during the uh, first Gulf War. But like I say, uh, moving forward, I reckon we're going to be using a lot more uh, Hataka paint. It's still going to be using the Vallejo, but I think we're going to start going over to the Hataka. Another thing as well with this, shake it. It's just uh, just the painting there. With the Hataka, you can just about hear the ball bearing in there as well. So it gives you a nice... Uh, nice mixture when you're starting to mix the paints up ready. When you can hear that ball shaking inside, you know you've got a pretty good uh, mix going on. But yeah, guys, like I said, I thought I'd just give you a little shout up with what we do with paints on baggies with the models. We'll show you more when we finish paint, finished off the Jaguar. But so far, guys, I'm enjoying using Hataka paints. See you later, guys.